Hello everyone, my name is Neve and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about crying. So yeah, sit down, it's going to be probably one of those deep ones. Lord knows what's going to happen but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Normally for my videos, my sit down ones, I kind of just write down like bits and bobs that I want to say but I did not do that for this one I just want to talk about this subject I've no idea what I'm gonna say who knows what's gonna happen with this video but let's just see where this goes so I'm a massive crier like real big crier um has been for as long as I can remember but I li like I cry when I see people cry like there's just something in me, like I just see tears on a person and I'm crying. Like, that's just how it's, it's always been for me, you know what, movies, TV shows, anything, if anyone's crying, I'm crying. You know, anything's a little bit sad or like, you know, anything, I'm just, I'm bawling. I'm always bawling. And I've always hated it. Like I, <laughs> most of the time, cannot have a serious conversation with someone about something to do with me without crying like it's just it's not possible like every single counseling session I've ever been to I've been crying like I am just a crier and I cry like 90% of the time <laughs> well not obviously not 90% of the time but I I could nearly cry every day I'll be honest I don't but I could I've always hated it I really really have I've always just associated as it as it being a bad thing and like you know just being like oh do you ever grow up and stop crying stop being a crybaby this, these are always things I would tell myself and it was one of my counseling sessions that I just kind of brought it up how much I like just despise how much I cry and all this kind of stuff and he was like why are you looking at it as a bad thing and I was like because like you know it's annoying it's you know, it's, it's really annoying when you can't get through a serious conversation without bawling, crying to the person. And he was just like, you've got to look at it as a good thing. And I had never, ever been told or had ever seen anywhere that someone should look at crying as a good thing. Then I kind of tried to start looking at it as a good thing and trying to list out like why it can be a good thing. And yeah, I'm emotional, but I, I come from an emotional family like I it I just feel like I've two emotional genes coming from both sides of my parents so part of it is that that I just think I was just like naturally born emotional um but that can be a good thing you know because some people aren't in touch with their emotions and some people have this like hard wall like no never getting emotional never crying never showing feeling I may maybe I overshare all of that I don't know but it's just who I am it's just part of who I am and it's kind of hard to tell yourself that like when I told myself all along that like crying was so annoying crying was so bad and stupid and all this to then try like flip your view on it it's really really hard it really is um but it just means I'm really in touch with my emotions I feel things quite hard I'd say and kind of the last couple of months I've kind of stopped giving a shit about crying like it's just gonna happen sometimes and it's completely okay for it to happen I can be very good at like <laughs> crying without people noticing sometimes like I can let the tears build up without them falling I don't know it's just the best thing to have developed and even like I recently had to leave my my two jobs and so I had to talk to two different managers about it and I cried to both of them like full-on cried to both of them and I knew beforehand that I was going to cry because I just it was a cause of anxiety for me and normally when I feel anxious I cry <laughs> Um, when I feel anything too much I cry <laughs> but it you know, I was, I would think I was mainly Dave I was talking to about it with being like, I'm gonna go in there like bawling crying, like probably crying while saying this to him. I definitely was actually, yeah, bawling crying, saying this to him. And he was like, it just shows that like, you've thought about this. It's a hard decision for you. And I, overall it would come across better than had I gone in being so like, oh yeah, like I'm leaving just cause I have to, blah, 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 you know. Whereas it showed that like, I, I wanted to leave but I didn't want to leave as I has how I had to leave kind of thing so what am I even trying to say who knows I guess I just want to say crying is totally okay you know you're I feel like society is brought up 
being told to like not cry don't sh let people know like crying is a weakness like if you cry people can you know your walls are down all this sort of stuff and you know it's like boys aren't allowed to cry like what's that Fergie song big girls don't cry but like everyone I feel needs to cry at some point like whether it's over sadness and anger you just like it as a way of getting your emotions out crying are so so helpful um, I mean a lot of the time I like I'm a I feel like I said this in a video before that like I'm an ugly like Heavy crier like it takes it out of me to cry like really full-on ball But and, like initially afterwards. I don't feel the best. I feel a bit tired and exhausted, but like There is a sense of just kind of like a weight being lifted off you if you just cry it out and just get everything out and then afterwards it's like Okay, well that's that's all I cried about, you know, and then you you deal with it, you move on. I could be completely wrong in saying this, I don't know. I just feel like crying in a positive way, I never hear talked about or I never hear I never see social media posts or anything like that about it. But like it's it's completely okay to cry and what I've noticed through like I have cried to so many people, people don't give a crap if you're crying in front of them. They're it automatically kind of makes them a bit more empathetic. Is that the right word? I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying though? Like, you know, people aren't kind of like, they say, might say it in a messing way, like, oh my god, like, stop, like, what are you up to, kind of thing. But like, ultimately, they see that, like, you're hurting or you're anxious or you're, you know, you're kind of struggling in some emotion or some sense, and automatically they'll want to help you, to stop you, to get you, just to get you happier in that moment or like, the chest is going, lads. Oh. <laughs> I've always felt everything in my chest and now that I have this thing wrong with my chest, anytime I get like in any way passionate about something, I get out of breath and it's just annoying. I just don't think we're told enough that it's okay to cry. And I'm here to say it is completely okay to cry and there's no point in holding tears in um like even i'll be honest yesterday in the car felt very overwhelmed over nothing in particular um i've gotten very anxious driving in cars recently i don't know what that's about but i was just in the back with my family and i could feel the tears coming and i could feel the panic setting in and i was trying to stop it and then i was kind of like why am i trying to stop this when it's just going to either happen when i'm alone in my room or something so I just was said to them, I was like, I'm just gonna have a panic attack and I just started crying and everything and in that moment, like, it was not fun in the slightest and I wish it did not happen, but I think I needed it to happen. I just needed to let myself cry, to let myself panic, even though I did not want to. I think sometimes you just gotta let it take over you and just let it happen because your body's trying to tell you something. Like I kind of figured out what I was stressed about but like had I tried to hold in those tears I might have had a worse panic attack later on by myself with no one to help me or you know it just would have built up and up over time whereas I just let it happen and I dealt with it there and then and then I was like right what am I stressing about what is what is behind this I think I'm gonna start ending it here um, I hope, again, as with these child videos, all I ever want is for someone to take something away from it. Um, I hope I was making sense through all that, but I just want to be a voice telling you it is completely okay to cry and I would encourage it if you feel you need to, to not hold it in. You know, some people might even be like, oh, like time and place for it, but like, no. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling any kind of sort of emotion that's making you want to cry, no matter where it is, it's okay to let it out because it's better to let it out and to let it all happen than to keep try holding it in. In my opinion. That's just what I think. That's all. <laughs> so yeah, it is okay to cry no matter how old you are, what gender you are, it does not matter. It's okay to cry. And it's only something I've accepted in the last few months. I don't know, I just wanna tell you it's totally okay. It's okay. We're only human. There's a lot of shit going on in the world. Everyone has their own personal crap to be dealing with the whole time. And sometimes you just need a good old cry. <laughs> That is everything for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it in some kind of sense and got something out of it. That's all I ever want from these style videos. 
Um, feel free to give it a thumbs up if you did like it or comment down below if you have anything to get off your chest or you can DM me on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I'm always a person to talk. I apparently, I think I give really good advice. I'm really bad at taking my advice and taking others' advice, but I give really good advice. So I'm always here if anyone ever needs any kind of a chat. I'm not promising I'll be of help to you, but I am just here as of someone who you can vent to if you need to. Subscribe if you want to, you totally can. You totally don't have to, it's fine. <laughs> and I shall see you when I next see you.